Hello and welcome to another episode on Microsoft Fabric. And in today's video, we are going to discuss one recently released feature of Microsoft Fabric and Power BI that is Model Explorer with Calculation Groups authoring is now available in Power BI service including direct lake semantic models. Direct lake semantic models means available for lake house and warehouses. This feature got released recently in 2024. Let's look at the release notes from Microsoft and then we will proceed further onto the Microsoft Fabric and try this feature out. We are excited to announce the availability of Model Explorer when editing data models in Power BI service. So in the Power BI service, when you are editing, you will get it. Learn more about editing data models in Power BI service. You have option to edit the data models in Power BI for quite some no time now. Direct lake semantic models in Microsoft Fabric. This is really important for us. Also use this Power BI service to edit the model when you click on new semantic model. When you click on new semantic model in the lake houses, SQL endpoints and warehouse. So basically it is available for Power BI semantic models in Power BI service as well as the semantic models which are created with lake houses and warehouse but you have to create a custom semantic model for that so let's go ahead and learn that i'll also tell you about couple of things about calculation groups basically calculation groups can be used for multiple purpose one of the purpose is we can group the majors and create a major slicer another purpose is we can reduce the major by using selected major and then we can give the formula so let's say I need a time intelligence formula. So what would happen? Sales, then MTD formula, I'll create sales dates MTD in, inside the calculate and I'll create a sales uh, MTD formula. Then I have gross sales, I'll create another MTD formula for that and so on. So I have 20 majors, I have to create MTD for all of them. But what we can do here using the selected major, we can create one formula and whatever major we pass based on that, we can get MTD. Now I can have MTD, QTD and YTD, different kind of majors in a calculation group using selected major basically they are known as calculation group items so i have different items like mtd qtd ytd all of them will be using this selected major and i can reduce the number of major so what we are going to do is we are going to do one example of that in our microsoft fabric semantic model so let me jump on to the app dot power bi dot com and that is nothing but microsoft fabric also so i'm here at app.powerbi.com and inside the workspace i've already opened 01 ga fabric workspace so from the workspaces i've already opened this inside this workspace i already have a warehouse warehouse 01 and warehouse 02 and those who are following the series the warehouse one is the one which i've created for direct lake and warehouse 02 is created on the view so it was using direct query model so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to warehouse 01 i'll open the warehouse or the sql endpoint because whenever we open warehouse it actually allows you to run sql so it's kind of a sql endpoint for you we will go to the model from below once once you reach model, go to the reporting on top. Inside the reporting, click on new semantic model. You can give it as a name. We can give it as calc group because we want to create calculation group. You can go down and choose what table you want. Actually, I want all the tables. This is a perfect star schema, which usually I am using for my videos the sales table, the item table, the geography, the date and the customer table. I'll click on the confirm to create this model. The new semantic model is created in the warehouse. This is also the custom semantic model which we have created and it had carried forward the relationship from the original model and let me collapse all. I have collapsed as well as I have reposition the table so that you can see this model clearly now in this model i'm going to create two calculation groups but i actually need few majors before i do that 
So what I'm going to do in my sales table, I will go ahead and create few majors. So let me click on the sales table and start creating new majors. I'll create gross, which is nothing but sum of gross amount discount which is sum of discount amount one more new major net gross minus discount both the majors i am subtracting now cox let me tell you one formula the row level formula sum x sales quantity multiply by cost is my cogs formula so i'm doing a row level calculation here all my majors are ready i am ready to create now calculation group to create the calculation group you have to go to the model inside this data pane near to tables click on the model you will see the calculation group option available here it is already showing your major separately that's the beauty of this semantic model now click on the calculation group and click on new calculation group it will give you a warning that implicit majors are discouraged post this and this is the behavior of calculation group we know so click on yes for this A new calculation group has been created and directly landed me to a calculation item which I'm going to create now. As you can see, it's already suggesting you to use selected major. So let me create. First of all, I'm going to create a major which is going to use selected major and going to give me time intelligence. And for the time intelligence, I'm going to use dates function like dates MTD, QTD, and YTD. So let me quickly create MTD item. Click on this one. Rename it as MTD on the left hand side. Calculate selected major. And the second argument of the calculate would be dates. MTD date of date. Standard formula. Which I've used many times. Let me copy this because what I'm going to do here is. I'm going to copy and paste this inside the others. So click on the calculation items. You will start seeing your calculation items here. And you can quickly add another item. You can get the new item by pressing on new calculation item. Paste that calculation. Quickly change it. Dates QTD. We will use dates QTD. I need one more calculation item. This one I will call YTD. This calculation item would require a major and that majors MTD, QTD, YTD you can show without creating MTD, QTD, YTD for that. So this is the first behavior we are covering. The second behavior we are covering is which we can also use in creating a major slicer. So let's say you have gross cog sales and you want to use that in a slicer and based on that selection you want to display slicer one or more. So that is where calculation group can also help and I'm creating now that kind of calculation group. So I pressed on the calculation group, new calculation group has been created. I am being landed on the items of the calculation group and I'll quickly create those. Here I'm going to keep the same names as major definition. So I'm using gross major, I'm calling it gross. And I'll quickly add others. Cogs. Discount Net You might be feeling what is the benefit of creating one single major for each calculation item. What is the benefit of that? Don't worry once we go ahead and utilize this you will get benefit of this. So now time has come that we should jump on Power BI desktop, connect to this model and create reports. You can do it online by using new reports also. But let's learn it on Power BI desktop. So let me open Power BI desktop for you. 
in Power BI Desktop, I have already opened a new file. I'm already signed in with the same user I was using on Power BI service. Now I will go to get data, more, and inside that one, I will use Microsoft Fabric, Power BI Semantic Models, and click on connect. It opens up all the semantic models and the one we created very recently calc group for calculation group is appearing on the top. Let's select that and click on connect. The model is loaded and I would like to create few visualization now. And for before doing that, let me import a theme which gives me larger font. I imported the team and I'm ready now. I'll start by creating a slicer on month here first of all because I'm using time intelligence. So I just wanted to make sure that I'm using the dates on which I have data. So I've created a slicer on month here. Let me bring in brand from the item table. And change this to a matrix visual. Now inside the matrix, I'll go and use my calculation groups. To use calculation group, you at least require one majors in your values. So if what I'll also do is I'll also create slicers for these two calculation groups. So let me add a couple of slicers. One, empty space, two. So I got two slicers. Let me reorganize them a little bit. And let me put them onto the slicers. So now let me drag these calculation groups. I would like to drag the first calculation group which contain MDD, QTD, YTD on rows. And, the, and one which contain the majors, I'll drag that on the columns. Now it will give you error and it is not giving you the value. The reason is all the calculation group, at least one major, that major may not play any role in the calculation of these. So as you can see, we are getting these majors and I can control the majors I want by clicking on the slicer. But where is MTD, QTD, YTD has gone. So for that, let's expand it. The moment I expanded, you'll see we are not seeing any value. And this is the reason I added this date slicer because I don't have value for MTD, QTD, YTD at the MTD, QTD, YTD level. And I have explained it in many videos that why we don't get MTD, QTD, YTD when we don't select the values because we don't have the data on the max month or the max date or the max year. So let's click on July. And as soon as I click on July, then knowingly I've clicked on July. So your MTD, QTD are same and your YTD is different. Now let's click on June. As you can see, you have MTD, QTD, YTD, all are different. You are getting them for all the four majors. Look at the values, they are all different. It is not that they are repeating. What's happening here? I have not created MTD, QTD and YTD for COGS, Discount, Gross and Net. Because of the use of selected value, I am getting it. I am also getting a slicer where I can control what, what I want. So this one is a slicer for major. I also got a slicer for MTD, QTD, YTD. So based on this, I can create a visual with a lot of variation. And this is how calculation group helps. Now the calculation groups are supported via tabular editor in Microsoft Fabric for some time. Now they are supported inside the Power BI service, both for Power BI data models as well as Microsoft Fabric data models or what we call semantic models. So why don't you go ahead and try this out? So go ahead and try these exciting features out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Microsoft Fabric DP600 beta certification is available from 11th January 2024 onwards. In case you want to go ahead for that certification, I'll provide the link in the description so that you can get the details. 
Thanks for watching this particular video. Thank you.